Okay, fire it up. It'll take a minute. You don't have a minute. Look, this generator can only power the chair because it operates in a state of barely controlled overload. Just get the damn thing working. I'm trying to do... Go ahead. What happened? We lost primary systems. Go, go! Gun positions is dark. Harold, why aren't you firing? Farrell, report. Hey, you got power. Go. sections of the city. The long-range scanners and the internal sensors are down, but we're working on it. I want to know the status of those hive ships ASAP. They're coming. That's their status. Tomorrow, the day after, the day after that, eventually they'll get here. Whether we're here to greet them or not is another matter. Rodney. Look, the chair is out of drones. How do you expect to handle the next wave? I'm open to suggestions. Really? We target the hive ships. With what? We fly the puddle jumper in stealth mode right down their throats. Are you volunteering for a suicide mission? It won't be a suicide mission if McKay and Zelenka can figure out a way to remote control the jumpers. Can you do it? I knew this was going to happen. Is that a fact? Yes, it's a fact. Look, you show up here with your guns and your brush cuts, but when it comes to actually saving the city, you turn to the scientists. And every time what you ask is impossible. When was the last time you slept, Doctor? Shut up, I have an idea. The chair. Of course the chair. The problem is tying it to the jumper systems. Without overloading the generators. Possibly using the drones and the jumpers themselves as a means of propulsion. While increasing the inertial dampening to maximum. Not very maneuverable, but possibly. Possibly. Is that a yes? No, it's a possibly. I'll take it. How much damage can one puddle jumper do? I got an idea about that, too. I think I know where we can get another nuke. Major, I don't know how sympathetic the Janai will be to our situation. The Janai? They want to test their weapon? Now's your chance. 